Hello, I'm Kyle O'Rourke, and today we're gonna to be going through unboxing and basic setup of a Mayday board with a Mars parachute on a Phantom. In the box, you should find the Mayday, a USB cable, and a set of basic instructions. Out of the box, the Mayday requires a firmware update. So on the Mayday, there's the header pins for the servo and power, and the USB port for updating the firmware, and then two buttons for calibration and arming. So we're gonna go through a basic um, firmware update. Plug the Mayday in to USB port with the supplied cable and then connect the other side to uh, a Windows computer running uh, Windows 7 or newer. When the firmware uh, updates successfully, it'll flash bright white and then go to regular idle blue. You can unplug the Mayday now. Great, now that our Mayday is fully updated, uh, it's ready to get it set up for your uh, multi-rotor UAV craft. For this demonstration, we're gonna be powering the Mayday using just a standard uh, two cell or one cell lithium ion battery. Uh, we got this from Hobby King, but you can really get it from any, um, any you know, online store that sells uh, lithium ion batteries. In late January on NorthUAV.com, we're gonna be selling our very own Mayday battery backpack. Uh, it'll take care of everything uh, related to the power for Mayday, and you can charge it through the included uh, USB port. Okay, so let's get this thing mounted and calibrated so that we can fly safely. We're gonna mount this battery on the Mayday using some simple double-sided tape. Um, a quick note about the power uh, header pins on the Mayday, you can actually power it through any standard five volt um, RC channel. And we're plugging it in here to power it on. And now it flashed bright white and then turned to blue, uh, showing us that A, it was calibrated, or it was, uh, the firmware was updated correctly, and that it's ready to go with no errors. Um, if it flashes red or white in the beginning, uh, that could mean that there's a sensor failure um, or uh, that it was triggered previously. So we're gonna be mounting it on a standard DJI Phantom 1. Uh, it's pretty much the same deal on all DJI Phantom products. Um, for any other regular uh, drone like a flame wheel, uh, the setup is really the same. We already pre-installed a Mars Light uh, parachute on this Phantom 1, so all we have to do is stick the Mayday on and run through calibration. Instructions on how to install any parachute sold by Mars Parachutes should be available on their website or come included with their products in the instruction sheet. To mount the Mayday, we're just gonna use some more double-sided tape. Um, you can really use anything like Velcro uh, to mount the Mayday on there. It could be moving around. It really doesn't need to be perfect. Uh, it can move, it can wobble. Um, the only thing that needs to be perfect uh, or needs to be correct is it needs to be mounted on an axis that is perpendicular to the ground. So for instance, if we look at this Mayday here, we can mount it on our Phantom like this, or like this, or sideways, or really any kind of orientation that's on one of its six axes perpendicular to the ground. Um, you cannot mount it at an angle like this, so we don't recommend trying to mount it kind of like this uh, at a side. Um, you can't mount it like this. Uh, it just needs to be completely flat, perpendicular on one of its axes. And the reason why is so that it can kind of get an idea of what up and down is. The Mayday is not uh, triggered by going past certain angles in the craft, so you can be flying and uh, it's not gonna accidentally fire if you go past like 90 degrees or something. Um, we just need the Mayday, the Mayday needs to know pretty much what up and down is uh, during calibration so it can kind of get its bearings on where it is on your craft. To mount the Mayday, we're just gonna use some double-sided tape uh, and stick the Mayday right on there. 
Um, once again, it does not need to be on there perfectly. Really just stick it on there and it'll work great. You can get this mount uh, on our website, northuav.com. We are selling them for free. The only thing that we ask is that you pay for shipping. Uh, you can also download the 3D printable file on our website, uh, maydayboards.com or northuav.com so that you can print it yourself at home. So now that the Mayday is on there, securely fastened with the battery and power on, uh, we're just gonna connect the servo for our parachute to the Mayday. Uh, on your standard servo connector, there's a ground, a five volt, and a signal line. Um, it'll usually be either brown, red, or yellow, or black, red, and white. Um, the Mayday uh, header pins are labeled below um, and closer to the logo on the device itself. So it's, it's a little hard to see, um, but you can kind of get in there. If you look closely, there is a negative, a positive, and a signal on the closest side to the light. Now, the Mayday's input is protected, so if you plug the servo in backwards, um, or on any of the accidental sides, it should be okay. Now, the protection is only for servo-based three-pin connectors. If you were to take a battery like this and flip it around, that will cause damage to the Mayday. We're gonna plug the servo into the correct slot, which is the upper slot above the power connector with the ground on the outmost side of the Mayday, closer to the USB port side. Okay. So now it plugged in, you can kind of hear the servo move a little bit as power goes to it. Uh, now we're gonna begin the process of calibration and programming the servo motions. To begin, we're gonna take the parachute, and we're gonna check that the servo is in the locked position. Uh, on some other parachutes, you wanna make sure that if it has a pin to keep the spring uh, ejection system from firing, that the pin is in there and then it cannot fire accidentally in your face. Great. So now that the parachute's in there, we're gonna program the servo release motions. To do that, we're gonna hold down the B black button for more than two seconds. Great. Now the servo will move during this time because it's moving to uh, whatever saved location it has for a release motion. And since you've never saved it, it can move a little bit randomly. Okay, we can move the parachute off to the side for now while we program the servo. The green light after you've held down the black button indicates that the servo is ready to be, the Mayday is ready to program the servo motion in the release location. So using the two buttons on the top now, you can now guide the servo head where it needs to move to. Okay, so since it's the green light, we wanna move the servo to where it should go when it wants to release the parachute. So that looks about right for the servo, uh, where it should be to release the parachute. And now in order to save that location in memory, we're gonna double press both the A and B button at the same time and it should flash blue and now turn to yellow. The yellow light now indicates where it should be in the middle between the completely locked phase and the completely released phase. So, locked, almost released, and completely released. Green, orange, red. We'll get to that. Okay, so, we're gonna move it a little bit in between the locked and the release motion, right there. Now double press both to save. Now we're gonna go all the way to the locked position that should be when it's locked and ready to go. Um, for this position, I'm gonna roll the parachute back up and lock it in place. Here we go. Now that it's completely locked in there, the parachute seems to be in place. Um, we can kind of adjust this servo head location using the two buttons on the Mayday. So here we go. Um, I'm gonna move it that way so I know where it is. And that looks about right. It doesn't look like it's gonna come out of there anytime soon. Maybe wiggle that, it looks good to go. Perfect. Um, now that I like that as the final locked position for the parachute, I'm going to flip it back over and I'm going to double press it 
one last time to save the final red location. Now, when I do that, it will cycle through all three servo locations uh, before uh, it moves on to the next stage of calibration so that you can see uh, exactly how it's going to move um, during a failure event or just basic use. So in order to make sure it doesn't come undone, I'm gonna have my hand here holding the parachute in place while I press the last button. Perfect. And now it should flash white until uh, we set up. But before that, I'm gonna lock the parachute in. Now that we have the servo motion set and the uh, parachute uh, locked up again, the Mayday will begin to flash white uh, continuously uh, until we set it down to calibrate. So I'm holding it right now and the Mayday is seeing that there's too much movement and it's not going to calibrate until we stop moving it, okay? Um, so what we have to do here is really double check to make sure that the Mayday is on the craft the way that you want it to be while it's flying, okay? If, if the Mayday, if you're just holding it in your hand or it's like kind of like taped on there just for now uh, or something like that, uh, don't do a calibration, redo it. It needs to be mounted to the craft in the way that it's going to fly. That's very important so that it knows how it's going to calibrate properly. Um, so now that it's on there, we flip the craft in the upright position. Uh, let me see if you can see here while I'm doing it. The upright position and then we set it down on the table or the ground or something so that the uh, uh, internal IMU can now calibrate properly. And once it stops moving, uh, it should stop flashing white. And if there is any movement, it will start to flash again. It needs to be completely still for a good, uh, you know, half a second to one second. Okay, so it should have flashed green to mean it did it correctly. If it didn't do it correctly, it'll flash red. Um, and the reasons why it could do that is you might have tried to calibrate it at an awkward angle, or you might have had it, uh, you know, I mean, just an angle or um, some other internal problem. Um, if you try to calibrate it and it's on the upright axis and it just keeps throwing red at you, um, try to update the firmware one more time and then we recommend turning it off and on again. If you are having trouble at all during the calibration process, please contact us through MaydayBoards.com. We'll be more than happy to help you. Now that the Mayday is set up and calibrated, let's get ready to fly. To arm the Mayday before flight, hold down the red A button. The Mayday will turn bright red and you might hear the servo move a little bit as it goes into position. Uh, while it's armed, you're now basically ready to fly. Uh, a couple of things before you go. You can move the Mayday around, the craft around while you're working on it. The parachute will not trigger. Um, you can set it down, you can move it around. Uh, it's free to work on the craft. Um, if you do have a spring-loaded parachute though, we really recommend that you keep the pin in until you're absolutely ready to throttle on the motors and take off. Um, that's just to prevent it from accidentally exploding in your face. Um, with this uh, drop release parachute system, it's okay to move it around for now. So one thing to note about the Mayday is that it stores data over time. So uh, if when you calibrate it, it'll store uh, what's up and what's down. Uh, it'll store all your servo locations uh, and it'll store a lot of other things so that when you do have a deployment, we can run through some basic diagnostics to figure out what happened and um, if anything went wrong, kind of diagnose the issue. Later this year, you'll be able to download the software that'll allow you to access this data. Okay, now we can see that the light is solid red, meaning that it is armed. We are now ready to fly safely. If you have any further questions, please go to MaydayBoards.com. And from all of us at MaydayBoards.com, North UAV, and Mars Parachutes, thank you and have a safe flight.